Despite their name, glowworms aren't worms at all. They're beetles. They use their bioluminescent bodies to communicate with other beetles in an attempt to attract a mate. The ocean is well known for being home to animals that emit bioluminescence, from the fleshy lures of anglerfish to the blue light defenses of Atolla jellyfish. Some animals on land have evolved to produce light, too. Glowworms are a group of beetles that use their luminosity to help them flag down an appropriate mate. So what is a glowworm? Glowworms belong to the family Lampyridae. The beetles in this group are commonly known as fireflies or lightning bugs. There are over 2,000 Lampyrid species currently known to science. Generally, the term glowworm is applied to species where adult females look like their larvae, known as larviform females, are wingless and emit a steady glow of light. The female's larval looks are likely why these beetles are labeled as worms. Lampyris noctiluca is the glowworm species most often seen in the UK. These nocturnal beetles, known as common glowworms, are found across Europe and Asia. It can be tricky to tell common glowworm females and larvae apart, as they both have similar-looking segmented bodies. But the larvae have distinct reddish spots on the outside edges of each segment, which don't occur on adult females. The larvae prey on snails, whereas the adults don't eat anything. Adult females can reach around 20 millimeters in length. Males can fly and are distinguishable from females by the hard wing case covering their bodies and their far smaller size. Adult female glowworms have a large, light-producing organ at the end of their abdomens. At night, they use a bright, steady stream of yellowish-green light to attract flying males. During the day, they burrow underground to avoid predators. A female will climb to a high point, such as a grass stem, and turn her glowing light upwards. This ensures that she is as visible as possible to flying males. Adult female El Noctiluca only live for a few weeks, until they mate and lay their eggs. Their lights are bioluminescent, which is the natural production of light by an organism created by a chemical reaction. In glowworms, a molecule called luciferin is combined with oxygen to create oxaluciferin. A chemical reaction with the light-emitting enzyme luciferis produces their illuminations. But glowworms can't easily control the supply of oxygen, so they can't flash their lights on and off like some other firefly species. Instead, they produce a sustained stream of light. In non-glowworm fireflies, males and females communicate by both flashing their lights in specific patterns and tempos to identify themselves. This is one of the main ways for fireflies to tell if they're receiving a message from the same species. Fireflies in the genus Photurus, found in North America, are often called femme fatale lightning bugs. The females mimic the light patterns of other species, attracting males to kill and eat them. In species of firefly where the larvae glow prominently, this is probably for defense. Their glow may be being used to signal that they wouldn't be a pleasant meal for predators. Fireflies' lives revolve around light. Artificial light in night environments is increasing, even in countryside areas. This can lead male fireflies into thinking they have found a colony of brightly glowing females. Artificial light can block out female bioluminescence and make it difficult for males to locate females. A study in 2014 found that even very low levels of light pollution could interrupt the reproductive behavior of male El Noctiluca that were searching for mates. The authors suggested that in areas where glowworms are in decline, light pollution should be looked at as a possible cause. In the UK, adults of El Noctiluca are active between May and September, usually with a peak of activity in June and July. The larvae are often active for a little longer, seen between April and October. Glowworms are usually found in locations where there is a good supply of small snails for larvae to feed on. The beetles also tend to be associated with limestone areas. In 2020, a new study that recorded glowworms in the UK over the last 18 years found that glowing female El Noctiluca at sites in Southeast England have declined in number by about 3.5% per year. The lesser glowworm, Phosphanus hemipterus, can also be found in the UK, but both the males and females of this species are flightless and neither glows with much intensity or regularity. They usually only illuminate when disturbed. Their small size makes this species easy to miss. Unlike the majority of other fireflies, the lesser glowworm is active during the day, removing the reliance on bioluminescence. 
To find each other, females may release pheromones that males sense with their long antennae. Glowworm sites are found widely across Britain, although according to the National Biodiversity Network Atlas, P. hemipterus is currently only known from Hampshire, Surrey, East and West Sussex. During their active season, a number of glowworm walks and events are organized by local nature groups in the UK. The term glowworm is also used to describe another group of insects. The fly genus Arachnocampa comprises five species of fungus gnat which emit bioluminescence during their larval stage. But unlike glowworm beetles, the gnats use their luminosity to entice prey. They produce sticky webs that hang from the walls and ceiling of the caves and use their lights to attract and ensnare moths and other prey. The prominent feature of the fungus gnat is hinted at in its larval name, glowworm. Glowworms have a light-producing organ located near their tail and the glow is a byproduct of excretion. Glowworms use their mouths to create silk threads and send down droplets of thick mucus to make the lines sticky, enabling them to catch small insects. These fishing lines vary in length and number depending on the glowworm's habitat. Glowworms living in caves may have lines up to 500 millimeters long. Bush-dwelling glowworms have much shorter lines, making them less likely to become tangled in windy conditions. It takes glowworms 1 to 15 minutes to create each line depending on the length. Glowworms use their naturally created light to attract their prey. Mistaking the glowworm's light for the open sky, the prey flies upwards and gets caught in the glowworm's lines. Glowworms then emerge from their tube and reach down to eat their prey. However, if the prey is too far down the line to be considered safe, glowworms will pull up the line to eat the prey. They can also cut oversized or unwanted prey from their lines.